So here we go. My blood type is O. Okay, good. I'm so happy when people finding out their blood type. That's empowering. So today we're going to talk about when you start to eat right for your blood type, what, we, what could we expect? And you all can write down in the comments some of the things that you notice. But this is within the first 10 days we're going to talk about that. What you could expect based upon my experience, based upon my notes, and, um, and you know, just, just based upon, you know, a lot of people that have uh, tried this and what they emailed me and tell me they've experienced. And just being, you know, in this, on this journey for longer than 10 years, being around sick people all the time, the things that I've heard, you know? And so, when people start on this here particular diet though, from even just from these lives, I've been hearing within the first 10 days, they're already feeling benefits. I know for myself that when you change your diet, you immediately begin to start feeling benefits. But this, here's the thing I know from experience, you're feeling benefits, but you're not there yet. It's almost like a detox that's less than 30 days. With a detox, hey Steven, with a detox that's less than 30 days, hmm, you're feeling benefits. So some people think that they're doing something at, you know, at that level, which they are, they're penetrating, but they just not penetrating deeply to the core at the cellular level just yet. So yes, you're going to feel benefits within the first couple of days. And those benefits will be like sleeping better, even losing weight, you know, uh, maybe increase energy or you better notice that maybe you're not full of crap because now the bowel movement because on a third day seemingly since the bowel sheds every three days on a third day seemingly that be the day with that everybody no matter how obese or how sick they are they get a passing they get a large bulk stool they get to release more you know things bulking up and moving even if they was full of crap for, for the longest by that third day, it don't matter whether they skinny or the most obese person, that third day, something bursts through and, and just take form, especially when they consume the sustained detox. That'd be the magical day for some reason. So what's happening here is the, um, the balancing of the blood sugar, the repairing of the damage that was happening from the lectins. That was when they were eating the foods that wasn't beneficial for them, that was causing them inflammation. Yeah, that's being reversed. So you're reversing these things. So this is why you're feeling better. And so you're resetting your um, biochemistry and you're boosting your immune system. So that results in greater energy, reduced joint pain, less bloating after your meals, decrease in, you know, the stomach um, issues that you have, maybe even if it was gas or or um, belching or foul breath, you know, you're noticing a decrease in those things. And the weight loss could be like maybe about one to five pounds the first week, right? So this is why it's so important. I'm sharing this with you just in case those, there's some people, you know, some people just, you know, they, they think, you know, I'm gonna start small, but you really, really wanna start with doing all of the highly beneficial things. You know, some people wanna start maybe with a tea or with a juice. You know, or maybe they'll change their cooking oil. But you really, when you do stuff like that, you're really prolonging. You're prolonging your healing. You're prolonging the really beneficial um, effects that have come. So I would encourage people to start with all of the highly beneficial items. Start with the meal plan and start abiding completely by the meal plan, right? Purchasing all organic things too. You know, I wouldn't, you know, do half eggs with anything. I, I wouldn't, especially if you are in a state of sickness and disease, right? Or just being uncomfortable. So, and then not only that, monitoring portion size, because even though I, I'm given a meal plan, right? And so I'm saying on the meal plan, for example, I might say on the meal plan, a couple of slices of a banana, or I would say a bowl of oatmeal. Well, get a reasonable portion amount. That don't mean, you know, go back for three, four, five bowls, you know? That don't mean overdo what the meal plan is saying because, yeah, it's highly beneficial, 
but balance is the key to this game too. And even, even with that being said, while I have your attention, for those of you who, I said this once before, and I just want to reiterate it. For those of you who are here that purchase maybe a A blood type or O blood type, I have to let you know, I, I posted it, I, I did an update in case you didn't see it, like 95 I'd say, well, maybe 97% of everything on that meal plan is pretty much highly beneficial, but there might be one or two things on there that's not highly beneficial, but I drew them in because there's a lectin inside of them that that's not maybe the highest beneficial. The lectin inside of them still is a healer. For example, the A. I had um, a few slices of banana and I think I put it in with um, maybe oatmeal. Well, the logic behind that is because the banana has a lectin in it that really can heal from HIV, okay? Uh, on an O, I put in maybe oats, and oats is maybe not the highest beneficial, but my reasoning, my logic behind that is because oats, when I say oats, I mean like oatmeal, and I had them eating oatmeal with different kinds of fruits that were highly beneficial for them. Oats is high in silica. If you know anything about, about melanin, melanin is a healer in itself, like, right? And so melanin, if you keep up with your melanin, protect your melanin, eat right for your blood type, then now you have these superpowers, now you're not sick, now your blood, which everybody wants, example, the oats, your blood can, is a healer to all other blood groups. Your blood is medicine, hence why they take the placenta away, hence why they take the um, circumcised um, penis and, and they use these things to actually make medicine from, right? They ain't gonna tell you that. Anyway, so this is because of this melanin. This is because of the adrenaline, um, the adrenaline spike in that blood, that blood, that fresh, that fresh new blood. Like, this is why they do what they do with babies, you know, the sacrificial offerings. This is why they do the little blood baths, the celebrities, they'll put it on the face, right? All this has to do with melanin. My point is your melanin is a healer and it's very, very, um, it's worth a lot of money. Some people even go give blood and they, they live off of the money for giving blood because of the same reason. So now back to the oats. I had to tell you that though. So oats has something called silica. If you look at the periodic table of, um, you know, the elements, you see silica and carbon, AKA melanin. They're like cousins, I cry. So oats has the high, highest amount of silica in it. And so I included oats on the meal plan for the oats for repairing of that melanin, since silica and carbon are cousins, like, right? To repair that body, to make that melanin be a healer for the oats instead of be tainted or toxic. To, this is purifying your blood at the same time. So if you have questions about the meal plan, just ask me, but know that I have your best interest in mind and also know that the meal plan is about balance. Never did I say with any one item on there to go over and indulge and make a banana pudding, for example, a oatmeal pie, for example. Uh-uh, I ain't say that. <laughs> I'm just getting myself off of the hook for those kind of people that just don't, you know, just want to do what they want to do. So, um, another thing for all blood types that's really, really beneficial for you all to know, lemon water for all blood types, lemon or lime water in the morning is highly beneficial for all blood types. Don't sleep on that. Don't sleep on your highly beneficial oils because they're good for your omega trees. Omega trees is anti-inflammatory and that's going to rid you of inflammation. That's going to soothe pain. That's going to lubricate your liver and your large and small intestine to get things moving around, right? And even your kidneys helping you process and release those acids in the mucus, that lactic acid buildup, right? So I keep hearing that oats are toxic to the gut, mm -mm, but they are in high... Yeah, yeah, they are. So don't don't listen to them people. When people tell you something just toxic for you know everybody, that's a red flag right there. That's a red flag because source energy made something to be beneficial for everything got a purpose. Everything, everything. So 
you know, it might not be a purpose for your blood type, but it's a purpose for maybe some other blood type, maybe some other animal or something, you know, but it's a purpose. We, we just, you know, source energy just didn't create stuff that has no use. Because if it was going to be useful, deemed use, I mean, deemed useless, we wouldn't be able to see it. You know, it wouldn't be in our reality. Because that's what we're here to do, to manipulate the energy of things. Why am I talking over myself? To manipulate the energy of things. Okay? Hey, babe, how you doing? So, another thing, spring water. This is something that's very important for all blood types. Don't forget your spring water. And I would suggest you manipulate your water with your sodium bicarbonate and your Celtic salt. Just a pinch of each in your spring bottle water. Like if you buy waters like this here, manipulate it and make it antifungal because you're adding your sodium bicarbonate in there and you're, and you're adding your electrolytes to get you more energy or electric light, electrolytes. Make sure you're turning your water bottle around and making sure that it ain't saying, oh, reverse osmosis. Oh, distill. No, you need to say spring. Reverse osmosis water is not the water you should be drinking every day. So, reason for that, water promotes cell regeneration and it helps the body to cleanse even further. So if you're sitting up there, the average adult should be drinking enough water to, to regenerate. So that means the average adult, your weight, the body density two, it, whatever that equals is the amount of ounces of water. And I just like to say the average adult need to be drinking a little less than a gallon of water there. But the water got to taste good. The water got to be soft water. The water got to have the electrolytes. The water got to have the sodium bicarbonate in there. So for it to do anything. Because if you're drinking reverse osmosis water that don't have no minerals or no life force, you're going to be running back and forth to the bathroom because the, the, there's no magnesium in it. So it ain't good for nothing. So it's going to come right through you. So your body's like, well, what am I going to do, do with that? Well, let me get this out of here real, real fast. And that's why you keep running to the bathroom. When you drink water with minerals, then it can, those minerals, and it can latch like a hold onto you and absorb into your body. Minerals like magnesium. You're absorbing in your body through your water too. And now it's helping your body regenerate. It, that magnesium is catching on. On top of the magnesium that you're consuming from your high, highly beneficial foods. All right. Another thing that we probably be overlooking. Pay attention to what you clean and stuff with. Pay attention to the things that you put it on your hand. For example, like, right? Like your dishes. When you're washing your dishes, whatever this liquid you're using, if you're not wearing gloves, how soon would I feel the effects? Been doing it for a month, but feel no different. Been doing what for a month? Been doing what for a month? You eating for your blood type? And you don't feel no different. And you're doing it every day. And you, you're consuming your highly beneficial oils. And you're drinking your spring water. And you, you don't go to the bathroom drinking the Celtic water. Oh, okay. The Celtic water with, you put in sodium bicarbonate in there, right? The Celtic water with the sodium bicarbonate, instantly you feel that. Instantly that actually increases your energy from everybody that I've told to. They can actually feel that when they're deprived. For the people that didn't have any hydrochloric acid, they felt instantly because that Celtic water, that salt, that's making everything like a saline solution inside of your body. So that's 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 destroying, just like a snail, the salt, is that's destroying mucus in your gut. So that's gonna make you go to the bathroom even more. That that antifungal up in there. Like say for example, if it was an O, that's helping them with all of them acids that's building up up in there. Controlling that acid to prevent an ulcer. <laughs> but then I got pregnant. I've been eating from a blood type and lost 20 pounds, but then I got pregnant. Yeah, I've been doing a blood type diet since October and down 20 pounds. Okay, okay. <laughs> all right, you got pregnant and that was a hiccup for you? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I don't know if you, when you got to your hiccup, you stopped, 
but it's not a start and stop thing. This is now a lifestyle. So moving on to the things that you put your hands on, your skin, because you got to remember now, your skin is an organ. When you put on your skin penetrates inside of you. So you got to begin to think about the, um, the dishwashing liquids that you consume and you put in on your hand and you're washing your dishes. You're thinking about that, but that's penetrating your body too. And so what, what tell me where you think that go? What got to process that and filter keyword filter that out of your body. I got to get y'all to um, see this. So I want y'all to answer that question. If you're washing dishes and the dish liquid was, was whatever, I don't know, Dawn, what do they have? They have the little organic, um, clean and clear, I think it's called, um, what a Ajax, I don't know. What do you think, what, what do you think is happening when that absorbs through your skin and your hands? Where, how does that get filtered out of your body since your skin is an organ? Does anybody know? What part of the, what organ in the body filters? Dr. Bronner's, yeah, that one too. Won't it absorb and get into the bloodstream? Okay, yeah, because the skin is the organs, but we gotta filter them toxins out. Maybe the kidneys. Yep, the kidneys. Them kidneys. Them kidneys. Okay, so the kidney have to filter that out of your body because it went inside, it went inside, it got absorbed in the skin. And so you gotta think about things like that because you put in that, that strain, if you already have acids that you've been eating for 40 plus years, you, you already have what? Then you got sh shampoos with all kinds of toxic ingredients. Maybe you've been doing perms, jerry curls, um, dyes, you got to think about that because it's penetrating. Think about the fact that the people, the people wear gloves when they're doing a the perm, but you're putting the perm on your head where your brain, your cognitive thinking, your flow is. So even while you're beginning to eat for your blood type, you think about these different things and that should prompt you to want to do your key limes to help your kidneys, especially on perm day especially on dye day, especially on dish day, or better yet, wear some gloves on your hand while you're washing your dishes. So all that stuff won't be absorbed inside of your skin while you're trying to detox. Cause you detox through your skin too. Your skin gets so toxic. And this is why we have eczema, psoriasis. You see your skin be having, your body, your organs be having so many acids that it'll come out to your skin. At least it'll try. And so we have psoriasis, the eczema, we'll have rosacea, things like that. When the, when the body is so acidic and it got so many chemicals in. And so this is explaining why when the ladies go to the restroom, <laughs> when they have some ladies that go to the restroom and it's smelling, they, all they did was urinate, but it's smelling. It's smelling like the urine, like, like the drunk people that, you know, um, down in New Orleans, they used to smell like ammonia, like the urine downtown, you know, around Mardi Gras time, the little drunks, it would be like so foul, just their urine. I'm only talking about urine. That's because them kidneys and acids that mucus. So let's, let's go back. Somebody said it, the intense of the bloodstream, but remember, we got to think about this here. The bloodstream has a backup. The backup to the bloodstream is the kidney. So that all is going to be routed to the kidney to be filtered to in effort to come out. So that's another thing while eating for the blood type. Pay attention to what you're putting your hand on. So they got some men, they got some men that, you know, in, I come from construction and I worked around men for 22 years. I'm retired now, but men would just touch anything. And I'll be like, no, when you glove that, they would touch any dirt sprayed on the can. They didn't care. They just touch and let that stuff absorb. And them kidneys going to suffer from that. You keep on putting in and having a kidney here. It's almost like when you put certain on, certain things on your body. Here, here kidney, take this, take this, take this, take this, take this, take this. But if you're giving that kidney all of that stuff to take, you got to be easy with them kidneys and give it something to release. Open up the adrenal glands and release them acids. 
the buildup, the mucus, and let it flow to the kidney so you can urinate it out. This is where water comes in at. This is why key limes is so important because they break up these acids. They allow these them kidneys to flow. It works like a little a diuretic, but at the same time, it alkalizes the body. It's a setting going in, but then it transforms into alkaline and leave an alkaline ash for the body while helping the kidneys. This is why for blood type B, licorice root is really important. It opens up the adrenal glands and it helps to alleviate uh, um, it helps to alleviate that pressure, the acids and that mucus by opening up the adrenal glands and, and allowing the kidneys to take them acids, route them acids out of there and you urinate and you have sediments in your urine. And that sediments represent all of the chemicals that you absorbed in your skin from your dishwashing liquid, from, from perfume. That's another thing that you overlook. Perfume, be, you know how people be putting perfume all, you gotta put it everywhere, everywhere. How about you put it on, like for me, I put it on my wrap. Put it on your clothes. If you knew, see, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a creator of natural products. If you knew <laughs> the stuff, the chemicals that they put in, in soaps, the chemicals, that's why I create organic products because of one day my skin creating reaction to these things, the chemicals, the lye, the oven cleaner, the dyes, the estrogen mimickers, the pig fat that they put inside of perfumes and soaps. You would not want to really wash your body with that kind of stuff no more. So organic soaps, I make a product called Be Nourished. Organic soaps that like Be Nourished, for example, that open up the lymphatic system and allow the acids and that mucus to be relieved. It ain't no regular soap. It's going to get that blood flow. It's going to get circulation going up in the air. It's going to get the adrenal glands open. But let's not keep washing our hands and touching these things. Let's take care of our inside and out. This is another level. So stand clear of chemical cleaners. And the easiest way to do that too is to try, just like you drink the lemon, you could try some type of lemon cleaners. Like you could try lemon juice. You can try vinegar. I wash my, I mop my flow with vinegar water and the essential oil that I want to smell of choice. Maybe you want it to that smell to be maybe um some some rose oil, maybe some eucalyptus. You want a fresher scent or whatever, citrus, vitamin C scent. But I make sure my water has vinegar in it to clean the floor and one essential oil to make it smell good. Simple. See when we put that, let's say for example if you wore if you mop your flow with this thing, this fabuloso, which I hope nobody don't use no more, that that's under the sound of my voice if you're into health and wellness because you're breathing this stuff in, these chemicals. You walk barefooted on, it while, on the floor while it's a little bit wet. All your nerve endings on the bottom of your feet. Now you're absorbing that back into your body. Chemicals. You got to be mindful of the chemical factory. I hear this physical reality because these chemicals wreak havoc on your body this is why you go to the restroom and your urine is stink stink funky stink and it's not supposed to be like that <sighs> baking soda baking soda is a good cleaner too and so these things are, are better for you and they're um environmental friendly these things, especially if you have babies that's crawling on the floor and stuff like that there, or better for you to be inhaling, you know, uh, they have, they have baking soda, little, um, powders actually, like before you vacuum, instead of all of them horse sprays and other powders that smell, I mean, they have your whole no nostril pathway open up, but it's open up to toxins, especially those candles. You got to pay attention to this here too. And them candles. You know how they got that, um, is it called Bath and Body Works place? The, the smell good place? 97% of the stuff up in that place is toxic. And they be having soy candles. Now, if you ain't blood type A or blood type AB, if you are O in the, in the B, 
Bath and Body Works is a no-no for you because you can't be inhaling that soy stuff. You can't even eat that. That causes inflammation. So now you got inflammation in your respiratory um, pathway. Now, just because you wanted your, your house to smell good, but you went to a store that, that made stuff based upon soy. And it'll tell you when you turn the stuff over, when you go to these places, how toxic these things are. Be mindful of that. Okay, so keeping a record of the um, of the things that's improving, if you choose in the beginning or just feeling it and enjoying it, it's the best thing. Enjoying the journey, beginning to say, using this is mindfulness we about to tap into. Begin to say, oh, I'm happy. I can see that my my kidneys are filtering now because I, I can see all of the settlements. I'm so happy that my body is detoxing. When you feel a certain pain or a certain little you know nod in your body. Oh, that feels good. That feels like something was just moved out of the way that didn't serve me any good. When you come from the bathroom and you know, you just release a whole bunch of waste from your bowel. Oh, that was the best. You ain't gotta say this out loud, man. Oh, that was the best release. I feel like at a cellular level, the waste, the cellular waste has been expelled and I'm happy for that level and I look forward to more being expelled out of me. It's almost like you milk in the moment and you're telling the cells of your body, yeah, I like that. Give me more. Give me more. Use essential oils instead. Definitely. Yeah. So just make, take notice is what I'm saying of the beneficial things that's happening in your body, because really you have the power mentally to make your body, the cells of your body renew without, without this. But we're going to do this here, these steps, because with, by following these steps, at the same time, we're conjuring up energy, conjuring up energy to get there another way. Because there's so many different ways to get there outside of mindfulness. So within 10 days, majority of the people notice results. They notice weight loss, improvement in their digestive problems, allergy relief. They have a better quality of sleep and their energy levels are through the roof. No exception, no exception. And if not, then there's something you need to tweak. That means you need to maybe drink some more water. That means maybe you need to eat, drink your highly beneficial oils, some more key lime. One of them three things right there could just be it. And that's something very, very simple to get that path this way unblocked and get everything starting to flow. That's it. I wanna throw in this here maybe overlooked thing called sleep getting rest is very important listen to your body while you're going through these changes if you're tired just be tired just like I, i'm late today on this live because guess what i was running my mouth at six o'clock this morning on my consultations and i was like you know what i'm just sitting here until i feel like talking again i know i'm i was supposed to be here based upon me saying that i would like to be live at 10 a.m mountain time but i was easy with myself and I sat myself down and I said, you know what? I'm gonna take my time and I'm gonna put me on some clothes and I'll get to talking when I get to talking. Be easy to yourself, listen to yourself. Sometimes your body be telling you no and you're trying to push it, that's going against the current, that's fighting resistance, go to bed. And for those people that like to or have to maybe for this appointed season work overnight, really be easy with yourself. Because you now are not in sync with the circadian rhythm in, of the universe. And so it's, it's, it's a little bit, even, even though you're trying to do this for that extra dollar or whatever, it's a little bit more hectic on your body when your body is in tune to infinite intelligence, the circadian rhythm. And it knows it's time for me to detox. Why is she at this place called a job? And why is she putting food up inside of me? She's supposed to be resting. And so it becomes a little bit confusing and that equals stress too for some people unbeknownst to them. They trace in the dollar in that particular moment, but it's really wreaking havoc on the immune system because the immune system is used to the circadian rhythm, even when we don't know what the heck it is and what it's all about. The next subject is hyperactivity and learning disabilities. Anybody know somebody with a child that has ADD? Uh, ADHD, I think they call it ADHD, the attention um, deficit, um, hyperactive. Anybody, anybody ever seen these children? Or better yet, you probably know it. They probably didn't give them a name. They probably just like, 
That's them, some bad age children. That's the baby kids. Anybody ever seen one of them type of group of people? <laughs> Maybe you know them as the children with the silver teeth in their mouth. Because, <laughs> you know, back in the day, it was like the children with the silver teeth in their mouth. They were like the bad aces or whatever, right? Yeah. Oh, AD, HD, and ADD. Okay? <laughs> I'm a teacher. Yes, my nephew. Had, oh, okay. Okay. Has autism. Okay, I want to talk about that briefly, right quick. Let's see how many. Okay, we still have a good bit of people up in here. So, I want to talk about it as it pertains to blood type, though. Because I was a silver two child. You was? Look at Vicky. Go ahead, old Vicky. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's okay. Attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. And then there's attention deficit disorder. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. That. So, type O children. Type O children. Those are the children. Not to say they're the only ones, but it all makes so much sense that these are the children who a high percentage of has the ADD or the ADHD. Because there's a connection here. So you know the blood types are different and they all respond to their environment differently. And I talked a little briefly about how stress affects these people, you know, because I tell you all that, that I have O's here in my physical reality in this house. And I talked to you about how the adrenaline spike is for them, the um, the cortisone level, like when they get mad or whatever, and you, you just, and I I would clown jokingly and say that they need to go sit their ass down. But then when they when when they, they get mad, they get it's just like you can't stop them when they are upset because they got all this cortisone peak. It just bursts. They go from zero to one hundred real fast when they get upset about something. And they stay there and they ride with that cortisone spike, right? And then after a little while, oh, nothing. I ain't worried about it no more. Now, all hell beating broke loose. What's happening is this spike of cortisone level increases to this peak. And then, bam, it just drops. Meanwhile, you might be the observer of this blood type acting this way. And you're like, is everything okay? And they, they down now and they're like, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. It's over. Right? So these children, they are children that have this here peak of this cortisone level and they'll call them the little busy body, the little baby exists. But easily, since when they are a child and they really don't have probably the self-control or better control like an adult, that's a blood type O. When they are a child, the simple fix for them is making sure that they have a bunch of exercises to do. That means that they're involved in all kind of um, activities, after school activities, gym exercises, um, sports, gymnastics, maybe chores around the house where they can, uh, pretty much I'm saying burn them out. Chores around the house where they can, you know, they can participate and help in when it's time to take out the trash, maybe to cut the grass, maybe to burn off some of the energy to help them to get in balance when that ADD is at its highest peak. And it's most often than not in a child with blood type O. And it's coincidental that blood type O is the lean lean mean muscle machine like in the gym at the same time as an adult as a blood type oh they're the ones that's doing the most in the gym because they have when they like in their prime and and when you know when they're um in their healthier state of being you know if they're not obese and then put out all their fire within with wheat and corn and stuff they have the most physical strength and endurance than the other blood types right? They're the hunters. Remember? They're the meat eaters. They have the most hydrochloric acid. And so as a child, the ones that have the ADHD or the ADD, they need to tame that extra spike in cortisone, that extra adrenaline 
they need to tame it some kind of way. So the best thing is, like I said, keeping them busy into sports or activities. And this is a very, very interesting for, for, um, for me looking back, looking back at these so-called bad children, their parents <laughs> thought that they were bad and had to keep them on drugs for the rest of their life. That's pretty much what I witnessed them putting them, these child, these children into sports, into football, into basketball, and they got all of, off of the medication. The child began to love that particular activity. And it was something for them to always have to do because, you know, they had practice, you know, they were, they were busy conditioning and working out. And then the children balanced that energy. So that's what you do for a O blood type. When they have these learning disabilities, you get them active. Blood type A and blood type AB, on the other hand, these children that have these type of learning disabilities and different things, They'll, they'll be better off from activities that encourage the development of their sensory and tactical skills, such as artwork, such as sculpting, so even basic relaxation techniques, deep breathing, because remember, they're the opposite. So you have a child, so you, you have a child that ain't no blood type O, <laughs> They're not, they, they, they not going to want, this is what, okay, prime example. You ever seen them during coaches and them daddies that's at the football practice or the daddy is the coach, right? And he's being hard on his son, screaming and hollering, telling his son that he's lazy, lazy he ain't nothing like him, da, 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 da. Majority of the time, it be because that parent is old and old. And they done gave birth to, you know, to sync with the woman in somewhere. They had a little bit of a trace of A or a little bit of a trace of AB. And that child is an A or AB. And an A or AB bloodline ain't going to be physically fit for strength and endurance like that old daddy who's the coach and think his son now is a lazy ass and he ain't nothing like him. Of course he ain't nothing like him. He came from a different bloodline than him. He not lazy though. He just, his way to release stress or, or do something different or to learn and pay attention in school is for him to have soothing, more, more um, technical type activities versus running up back and forth behind a football. That ain't, that ain't going to get it for him. And so, so do you know, if we think about this, this is really, really interesting to think about because we have so many A's that are suffering. They got A's that are suffering as little children because their mama and daddy maybe was a O and they got their eggs beat because they wouldn't eat all their food. But mommy and daddy, all they did was eat meat. Mommy and daddy was a O. Mommy and daddy was hard on them. Had them want to play football and basketball. And the A said, man, I can't wait to become 18 to get up out of this house because I can't do that. This is too hard for me. But nobody paid attention to what the bloodline was all about. The blood wrote the history for us all already. There's nothing new underneath the sun. So these children, these A's, now, now if they get on because they, they like to do it, they want to be up in the room, they get up in the room and they start drawing. They, they start drawing. <laughs> they, they doing relaxation techniques up in their room. Mom and daddy come home, who's the O's, who's active. Uh-uh, put that away. Not appreciating that is in their blood. That's what's going to calm them down. That's what's going to help with the learning disability. The simple task, not out there in the football field. So I think that's really, really important. It's heartfelt for me talking about this here because I know a little girl and she used to suffer with stomach issues, so many stomach surgeries, stomach cancer, stomach everything. Something was always wrong with this girl's stomach. Mom and daddy was, was well, my mom was old. Mom was old, mom couldn't understand this here. What's wrong? And these parents was just feeding this little, this little baby, this wrong diet. And she was the sweetest little innocent little thing. And she just, she just went through so much. And when I stumbled upon this here and, and I circled back to find out about that little girl, she was a blood type A. And she suffered and she didn't have to. So, you, so this is another reason why it's so important for you to know not only your blood type, but the blood type of the people that live in your house. As far as learning disabilities, as far as ADD is concerned, 
as far as the eating for your blood type. This blood type thing goes really, really deep, y'all, as far as personality traits, physical strength and endurance. Yeah. So moving on. Type B children like myself do well with swimming exercises. Yeah. Do we do well with swimming exercises and gymnastic type exercises? You know, when we're younger, that'll keep, that'll keep our, our attention span together because, and you think about swimming for us, you think about, you know, gymnastics, that reminds you of balance. See, B, B, we're balanced with our diet, right? We're balanced with our diet. We're also balanced, like, like for example, swimming. Swimming is, is, is all about balancing. <laughs> for example, gymnastic is all about balancing, balancing our body. It goes hand in hand. So, so let's go back to the O. The O into physical strength and endurance. So them little boys and little girls, they let them run track, get them out there, let them get, get, get them on the football field because they, they, they're the ones, they're the conquerors, they're the hunters. They want that physical strength and endurance. B want the balance. The A's and the AB's, they're into creativity. They're into art. You see how eating for the blood type shows a certain character of people? As it pertains to a learning disability or not, as it pertains to the blood light line too, it both go hand in hand. So, Blood type O is more um, is more highly prone to high catecholamine levels and dopamine imbalances, which have been associated with hyperactivity. It's in the blood. That's why I spent a lot of time talking about the old, the old children that dealt, dealt with that. I'm not saying only old children have it, but what I'm saying is in the old blood, they have these high levels for hyperactivity already. So know what, you're, know what kind of child you're dealing with before you put your child on these pills that have them twitching and really with a deeper learning disability than what, 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 what you think it is. Some of us think is think of it to be a learning disability when it's really just just how they are because of their bloodline. It's just how the chemicals in their body just 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 function because of their blood type. Nothing is wrong with half of these children. Nothing is wrong with a lot of people that's on the third floor. Nothing is wrong with a lot of people, and I know a lot of them that's underneath a bridge in New Orleans, Louisiana, right now, talking to themselves. Everybody's just vibrating at a different frequency, and if you understood these different blood lines and you understood how people function if you understood yourself then you could understand other people outside of yourself that's really the whole totality of what this is all about but we all know these names of um these rappers and these singers and what tv show is on we'll know all of these things outside of us but when it's time to get to know thyself that's where we stumble at and that's what i'm here for y'all still paying attention out there <laughs> I just thought that that was really, really interesting and I really, really wanted to share that with y'all. I'm hopeful that y'all getting this. I'm hopeful if you're a mother or father that's an old that's listening to me. Hayden is grateful that you listen to me. Hey, son, thank you for commenting that you have listened and that you're being easy with these children and that you know these children bloodlines and that we're creating a cycle here and that you didn't just get your blood type just for you to be healthy once you save yourself god you circle back and be a blessing to other people in your simulated environment and get to know them too just like you got to know yourself because doctors ain't really our saviors Pastors ain't read me. I've never been to a church and they told us anything about the blood of nothing but the blood of Jesus. But today I tell you, it's about your blood. Today I empower you not to follow me. I want you to turn around and follow yourself. I want to see your kingdom come. Very interesting wealth of knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. Because it all ties together. Lately, I've been working on this series on TikTok. I didn't realize that the series that you got to do on TikTok... You have to do it on your laptop. You have to do the video 
on the laptop, upload it on TikTok, and then your supporters could decide whether or not they want to listen to those titles. The other day, I um, asked questions and I asked the people, what do they want to hear about? So I've been compiling up videos based upon blood type, the things that you want to know, and things like this is going to be there in detail and in, in, in certain foods that you can even feed these blood type people that have the ADHD or ADD to help them with their stress and their adrenaline fatigue and, and hyperactivity, right? So y'all stay tuned for that because it's in the making. It's a lot and I want to have a lot of value. Even with my lives, I'll be having a lot of value because I guess I just know too much at this point in my journey. I don't know. And I'm really, really passionate about it. But I really definitely want to make this series a value for you to be able to not just listen and be like, oh, that's pretty cool. But no, farther than that, I want you to apply this stuff to your family. I want you to take heed for this year. I wish I had a, had this. And I, that's why I so, I'm so heartfelt about speaking. Because I wish I had somebody like me that kind of like showed me the way this way. You know, came on live every day and talked to me, encouraged me. Told me that, that I was my savior type stuff, you know. And I didn't have it. So I want to be in the, posi the position to be that for that little girl or that little boy. That certain blood type that that's been labeled to be crazy, to be hyperactive, go sit your ass down, you get on my nerve type energy. I want to be there for that particular person if nobody else gonna be there. If all that they see at the end of the road was pills or medication because that was only the thing that was thrown to me. Medication, you know? I want to be that 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 voice of reason and hope for that person. Well, you know what I wanna say? I want to be, I am that person. <laughs> I am that person. I am that person. That's going to be, that is being that voice of reason. I am that, that voice of hope for that person. I am the per, the person that, that that person manifested to come forward to help them on their journey. And I heart, 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 heart felt believe that. Heart felt believe that to the core of me. Yeah, I do. And that's why I do what I do every day for that person. And maybe, maybe when I come on here, every time I come on here, I promise you, all, I mean, like I'm, I'm really just here for one person. That's why I don't, you know, I don't even be looking up there at the numbers of who in here because I'll be feeling like I'm just here for that one. And I get off here, and I, when it's time to go to bed every night, I say. I think she was there. I know she was there. I know he was there. Maybe they didn't say anything. Or what if they what if they did say something? What if they did send me a signal? It just feel good. And I just go to sleep with the feeling of, oh, it just feels good that they heard my voice today. Cause I know they're going through some things. I know it might seem like the word against them. I know that it might seem sometimes that they're just little G kind of God because religion told them that. I know that it might seem like they can always have something to deal with as it pertains to their health and wellness. I know because this is the situation I was in. These are the things that I know based upon my past. I know they're wondering if, 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 there, are any, if there are any sunny days ahead. But I'm, I'm hopeful that they know that they are now. If they keep on watching, if they keep on listening, I'll show them. I'll show them. I can't wait till the light goes goes off in their mind. Like it did in mine that day when I was in the office meeting. And I was like, oh my God. I'm retaining this information. Oh my God. The cells of my body feel like they're renewing. Oh my God. I don't need these classes no more. Oh my God. I want everybody to feel that and experience that in life. Because it is the most beautiful, profound feeling ever. It is what we came for, for the resurrection of ourselves. Time out for the, 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 the limiting mindset and the disbelief. Time out for popping pills. Time out for thinking you just a little G kind of God, just a soldier. You got to go through this long, long, long suffering. Time out for all that foolery. 
it's time to remember that you're God and that you can be, do, or have anything. And I'm thankful for every last one of you that are here. And I look forward to you all listening to these series because I, I speak from a greater, a greater power, a greater knowing than, than me. Please understand that much. People tell me how wise and stuff I am. I have just been through a lot of things. And during my going through a lot of things, I listen to my inner being. I people watch. I listen to my inner being. I've studied humans. I study the mind. I study numerology. I study psychology. I study to show myself approved. And I rightly divide everything before I even present it to you. And because I'm in alignment with my inner being, I'll come on here and then I'll get even other other ideas, other notions to speak to you on different topics while I'm here that I really don't even came here on here to do. That's why I'd be so long-winded sometimes. But today I just really wanted to talk to you about the attention deficit disorder in the beginning phase of eating right for your blood type because it really, really does matter. You're welcome, why not? It really, really does matter. It really, really does make a whole difference. And I want you, no matter what, I want you to be hopeful. There was one person that was like, you know, they tried the Celtic salt and, and nothing happened for them. But, 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 okay, okay, I want you to begin to be hopeful and change that thought. Because really, like I'm saying, there's a mindfulness side to this here too. I want you to change that thought and maybe say you know i didn't feel anything that day but i'm hopeful that at the cellular level this saline solution that she got us just be was talking about is penetrating in my body and getting rid of the things that don't serve me right begin to think that thought and begin to be hopeful and let a renewing of your mind take place while you listen to me while you listen to my series because it's a mind thing and I don't want you to ever think that I'm bringing you on this physical journey and I'm leaving your mind behind because you need your mind's eye in every realm that you're going to experience God. You're going to need it on every realm because every realm is symbolic of you using your consciousness. That's all that there really is. The food really don't even exist. The oil really doesn't exist, but your consciousness does and it is eternal. It is eternal. So start using your mind when you're eating and bless your food mind, through mindfulness. Say that everything on your highly beneficial food list is beneficial for you and is activating you right now. Say that in your habitual thoughts. Think that while you're eating. Even when you begin to, 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 um, to put your gloves on, maybe when you're washing your dishes because we talked about penetrating through the skin, putting your gloves on, saying that, I am protected. I am precious. Build yourself up. This is what this is about. Because if I be lifted up in the biblical text, I have the power to draw all things to me. Lift yourself up. You are the cheerleader. You're the savior. You're the herbalist. You're all things. Yeah, mental clarity and peace of mind is everything. It really is. So begin to do that part of the journey and, and find the good, find something to give yourself attention to that is good, that feels good, that looks good. For me, my something is the birds outside. On the other side of this here camera, I can see my birds. That's why I moved to this here spot because I was talking in the kitchen prior and in the kitchen, all I was looking at was wall and I was saying, man, I, 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 I need to get into the light. Cause I want to see the birds. So I made me another little spot. So in between these two cameras, while, while I'm talking, I can see when the, when the blue jay passed, because that feels good to me. And every time that I'm outside and I'm looking at it, something as simple as the birds, I say, Oh my gosh, I wonder what countries you've been to. I wonder if you live here. Do you like the food here? Do you like the melon that I'm giving you? Do you like the, the, um, sunflower seeds the most? Which one do you like? Will you come closer to me? Do you feel my energy? Do you know who I am? You know, just to find the good. Oh, you're so beautiful. Look at the hummingbird. Look at how unique you are. Look at how fast your wings are flying. Oh my God, you look like the perfect little bird gentleman. 
just finding something beautiful to give your attention to even in your sick moment what happens there is you are in alignment of feeling good and even if you have some kind of sickness, some type of cancer, but or some type of ailment or pain for that moment while I was looking or you were looking at the hummingbird, you found something to feel good about and you gave your attention to that. Meanwhile, you released resistance to your sickness and disease and it became lighter and lighter because this is just energy. It became lighter and lighter to you, less and less of a thing that you were worrying about for that moment while looking at a bird, you weren't worried about being sick. This is important because you need to find more of the good and the sickness to take care of itself. You find so much of good in your life and you no longer worry. This is why they say stress is a silent killer. It's silent because you sit up there and continue to stress about it, continue to worry about it, continue to think about it, continue to look at it, continue to research it, continue, continue to think. All you're doing is conjuring up more of it. It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger because all things are energy, frequency, and vibration. Give your energy to the things that you want more of is the point here. When you're eating, give energy to how delicious that food is and how much it's going to nourish you. When you're driving, give energy to how beautiful those mountains look, how beautiful that sky look. When you're about to go to sleep, give energy to the things that serve you well for the day, the things that made you feel good for the day. And if you can't find any, rewrite the whole story of the day so that you can lay your head on that pillow thinking good thoughts, so you don't go to bed angry and upset in dis-ease. Because right when you're drifting off to sleep, you're going to zero point energy where all creation exists, where all creation stems from. Subconscious mind level, theta brainwave level, subconscious mind wide awoke. You don't want that pivotal point to be you creating disaster because you are a creator, creating. Create something good right there, baby. That right there is as powerful as it get. Y'all getting what I'm giving y'all today? Grateful for the screen tappers. Oh, thank y'all for tapping the screen. Thank y'all. Queen, I love your energy. Hey, Key. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If the birds can say thank you, we can do it too. Can't remember who sings that song. Oh, that's the name of a song? Yes, y'all listen. Good, good. Thank you. So any more questions? I needed this. Oh, I'm happy you came through. I'm happy you chose me to deliver it. Yeah. Any more questions before I get up out of here? If you all do not have your meal plan, visit my website. Speak it. Yep. Yep. Put it in the atmosphere. That's what I'm talking about. You got that right. Yeah. <sighs> I want to be your pupil for real. I love your knowledge. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Mimi, you are so welcome. Very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, I love your energy every day. Well, let's see. I don't know who's singing that song, though. You appreciate it. Yeah. I am. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, you are. We are. We're everything and yet nothing all at the same time. Everything and nothing. And some people find a little turbulence understanding that. But that's just what God and the source of the totality of God is. I am the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. The first and the last. God. And if you reverence a source or believe in a God, you got to understand that that's what you are too. Everything and no thing. You are the sickness and you are the health. You're just God experiencing the totality of itself, two sides of itself. And so church people get this a little bit confused. They want to just be God and they just want to think of the lovely things. And they, they don't want to have never, oh no, if it's not lovely and this and that and the third, then it's the devil. No, no, it's still God just vibrating at another frequency. But what I'm telling you is give your energy and your attention to the things that are lovely instead and you'll get more of them. You'll find them everywhere. But the opposite, because we're governed underneath the law of polarity, the opposite still does exist. But you just, you just on this side of the God frequency. Stay over here. Stay over here because it's easier over here for your kingdom to come than you to go over here and thinking about the, the fact that, oh, it ain't working. 
Oh, I don't know. Maybe it worked for everybody else, but it don't work for me. You know? Because then your life, your subconscious mind got to show you what you're thinking. Your subconscious mind got to show you that spoken word that you put out. It cannot come back to you void. So your subconscious mind got to find the reason why this ain't working and that ain't going to work and this ain't healed. You know, you're going to find it. Oh, you found another one. Meanwhile, the people that staying on this shit frequency, they find it more good. They driving. They they healthy. They gaining no, they they losing the weight. But these people over here, no, no. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. And to be honest with you, that's why. That is the only reason why I, I hate. And I don't even like to use that word. I hate blocking people. But that is the only reason why I end up blocking people because they're so down here. And I'm saying I'm in the middle of this and I'm watching these people and I want these people to thrive. And I'm saying to myself, no, I can't, I can't have you tarry with us. I got I gotta get you out of here. Because I can't, I can't let somebody that's hopeful see you commenting that thing there. I can't do that. I can't do that to these people because I want to see these people thrive. And if you can't get your mind together, you you could do it one or two times, but you keep on, keep on with the negative energy. You conjuring up too much. I got to get you out of there because then you're going to let all these other people that I've been inspired, you're going to allow for one of them to feel your energy because you're right there, all things are energy, all things are energy. And you keep on complaining and your energy going to peak so much that they're going to give ear or give an eye to you. And they're going to fall. This is even symbolic to how Peter couldn't walk on the water because he paid attention to the, to the waves and the current. No, I can't let you do that. So I have to block you. So get your mind right, God. Those that are, those that are over here wobbling. Those that are here of little faith wobblers. Get your mind right because you're going to get up out of here. And I really hate to do it because there's so much valuable information. I will block you out of my reality. Get your mind right and think about the things that are good that are lovely, that have virtue in them. If there be any virtue in them, think on these things, baby, and, and, and keep up with these people that's, that's being hopeful, that's being optimistic, that's seeing themselves healed already, that's using their now kind of faith. Yeah, that's manifesting good things, new things. Not on rinse and repeat and, and manifesting more sickness again. Meanwhile, all the organs in the body turning over. Meanwhile, the skin shedding. Meanwhile, everybody else here growing. But if you think about the bad things, you don't even give yourself new life. You give you, yourself the old life again. The old sickness. The old disease over and over. It's about renewing your mind, baby. You're going to learn today. And if you don't, you're going to get about here. Because we're learning over here. We're growing. Because we're God. And we need to practice mindfulness now while we're on this earthly plane. Because we need it in all the dimensions that we must explore. There's a dimension that you can't even get into. At least you have the ability to focus on the frequency of love and bliss only. You can't get there. Not when you're wobbling. So y'all get your mind together now. Whew. I had to get that one out. That was beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Y'all got me? Oh, <sighs> teach it now. Yeah. I'm so serious. Hey, conscious soul. Thank you for being here. I have it for your blood type book. Lesson plans. And yeah. Yeah. Then I'm going by. That's something I can use also. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. That's beautiful. I'm so happy for your um your progress. Thank you all for being here. This video was from my heart to yours. Y'all enjoy your day. I'm about to go work out. I'm going to the gym. Gotta get my arms. I'm trying to get my arms right. I'm manifesting some some arms. I, I command you to grow. Look at my muscles, y'all. Y'all see it? Y'all see it with your mind's eye? Hold up, hold up. They're going to get bigger and bigger and stronger and stronger. I command you to go, to grow. You see, this is, this is how you do it. I'm saying it before I get to the gym. That's what I want you to do before you eat the food. Stay. You see how strong I am? You see how physically fit I am? And each day you're going to see it because I spoke the word first. It's not about me going to the gym. It's about my imagination and my ability to focus on the things that I want that matters to me. Implement that into your life. Game changer. Be blessed, babe. <laughs>